Madam Mayor, City Council President, and everyone in attendance this morning. I'm Ben Neely. I'm the Deputy Director of the Department of Public Works, and I'm representing Director Al Fox this morning. Um, I want to begin by, rep uh, by recognizing and thanking Mr. Michael Levy with the American Chemical Council, who is sponsoring the competition this year. I also want to recognize Valentina Ukwomo, the head of the Bureau of Solid Waste. And with us this morning, we also have our clean community characters. We have Recycle Rick, Bay Beauty, and Lisa Lisa. have Hasman who wasn't able to join us this morning. This year Baltimore City is hosting the second clean community competition. A great number of communities participated last year and enjoyed this friendly challenge which gave them the opportunity to show pride in their neighborhoods while making a commitment to keep their communities clean. They were rewarded for their efforts and we appreciate the attention they gave to the goals we set for an improved quality of life for the citizens of Baltimore City. An event like this shows that pulling together as a community gets things done. It promotes a cleaner, healthier environment and is in line with the mayor's goal of bringing 10,000 new families to Baltimore over the next 10 years. I thank all the, the communities that have participated in last year's competition as well as those who will be signing up shortly for this year's competition. And with that said, it's my pleasure to introduce the inspiration behind the competition, Mayor Stephanie Rollins. Good morning everyone. Good morning. It is my pleasure to be here with all of you. Uh, ben, thank you for the introduction. And you know, none of this works without collaboration. And yes, we need our sponsors, but I need my partners in government. So I'm very pleased uh, that Council President Jack Young is here and City Councilman Carl Stokes is here. I hope this means that y'all are gonna be on the 20th with your, uh, with your overalls and your boots. Three of the four winners last year were in the 12th district. That's because I didn't see the list first. That's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But, that slipped by me. No, but you know, what, I, I really enjoy the, the clean communities because I, I mentioned to Director Fox how I, how I was inspired as a young person with the, the clean trash uh, campaign and glory. I'm, I'm sure you remember the trash ball and all of those things that really got us to think about how we can work together. I'm so, and, and, and I want to thank Councilman Holton for sending her, her, her representative, uh, Gloria Peck. Uh, but the things that inspired us to care about our community, and that's one of the things that I was really hoping that this, this Clean Communities campaign would be that tradition uh, for this generation. And uh, I can say that uh, when you, last year when we announced the winners at the fall cleanup and I awarded one of the uh, community leaders with their check and she stood there with tears in her eyes, I said maybe we're on to something. Maybe this will be the thing that, that really connects because you know what it means when you're able to pull your community together and, and everybody knows how hard it is to sometimes just find one volunteer that wants to participate but when you make it work and when everyone's working together it's special. It is inspirational and I'm very, very pleased uh, that the, the work that the uh, Department of Public Works is doing to bring communities together. Uh, sometimes all it takes is a little friendly communicate, I mean competition, right? And we can all get good things done. So uh, last year we saw that the participating groups were doing more than just cleaning in their streets and alleys. They were strengthening the bonds between their neighbors. As, as I continue uh, my efforts to grow Baltimore by 10,000 families over the next 10 years, this will be a part of it. Making sure that it's, it's not just people that we're bringing, but communities that we are building. Uh, when people work together to clean streets, to clean waterways, and to clean neighborhoods, they become more connected with the community and with, um, with, with each other. 
And we know that a dirty community is a major indicator of underlying uh, problems, not using trash cans, careless littering, unattended vacant lots and uh, dirty storm drains, all of those are indicators uh, that something else is going on in the community and that sends up a, a red flag for us that we need to get in there uh, to do more, to do more in partnership and uh, to make sure that, that we are aware of the communities that need to, be, uh, to need to be bolstered and where we need extra help. So 72 communities swept, planted, removed bulk trash, painted, and otherwise beautified their neighborhoods in the competition last year. The best part uh, was not only did these efforts improve the quality of life and beauty of individual properties, they also increased community connections. And I know I keep repeating that same theme because it's so important. Um, and, I, and again, I couldn't do it without the uh, support of our public partners and our private sponsorship. Private sponsorship provided more than $24,000 worth of prize money that was handed out to eight winners in October of last year. And we're doing it again because we made a difference. So four first place prize and four second place prizes will be awarded based on quadrants of the city during the fall cleanup of October, I mean, on October 26, 2013. The first place neighborhood will receive $5,000. The second place neighborhood will receive $1,000. Participating communities will be judged on cleaning and recycling efforts, including the overall increase in recycling tonnage, removing debris from vacant lots, trash cleanups from streets and alleys, clearing sweeping storm drains, greening and beautification, and more. We, we, we always look for ways, we have to even the playing field because not everyone has a vacant, praise God, not everyone has a vacant lot, but there are more things that you can do. If you don't have a vacant lot, there's plenty you can do to work together to beautify your community. Get creative so you can get in the competition. Any community organization interested in signing up should contact the Department of Public Works office, um, their Office of Community and Community Affairs at 410-545-6541 or go to publicworks.baltimorecity.gov where the applications are available. Last year, I joined the members of the Greater Remington Improvement Association to hand out trash cans and recycling containers to neighbors. Um, this effort, uh, their effort, helped increase the amount of recycling collected from the Remington community. The biggest winner was the Greater Greenmount Community Association. They adopted lots, increased recycling collection, and educated residents on how to properly put out their trash. If that's all we can do in this competition, I think we'd be uh, getting far ahead of uh, the game. So this year, it's up for grabs. Anybody can win this competition. I know the Councilman Stokes already bragged that many of the uh, communities who won were from his community. You know, I'm sure the council president will make sure that the word gets out to the other council members so they're not going to let Councilman Stokes show them up next year. <laughs> Uh, again, I want to thank uh, Director Fox and his team at the Department of Public Works uh, for putting this together. I also want to thank the American Chemical Council for their sponsorship of this uh, competition. You know, people are motivated, yes, by competition, but also a little prize money does not hurt. <laughs> so this could not be possible. And, and Mike, I, I really want to thank you. You know, I always say you know, I don't take anything for granted. You know, we, we look around at different um, councils, different corporations, and we think what people should do. Just because we think what people should do doesn't mean that they do it. So when we get a, a council that is willing to work with us in ways that makes a difference in our community, not just for, for today, but if we can inspire a generation to continue to clean, that is something that is making an investment in our future. So I am uh, sincerely grateful for uh, the sponsorship. And uh, again, it takes everyone, all of us, to keep our community clean. I'm hoping that we're going to get some good, healthy competition. At the end of the day, we're going to be making Baltimore um, better. This Saturday will be our annual spring uh, cleanup. And I think that'll be the start. Will it be the start of the competition? Yes. So it'll be the start of the competition. So uh, please sign up, get your brooms. I know there's information on the DPW website for different places where you can get the tools. I know the, the, um, the tool bank is a community uh, tool bank service that gives low cost um, 
rooms and things like that to community associations so you can get in, uh, you know, get involved with that as well. Again, thank you and good luck to all of our neighborhoods. Now, it is my pleasure to bring up Mr. Mike Levy from the American Chemical Council. Um, Madam Mayor and uh, Council President, City Councilman, Deputy, and all the participants here, uh, first of all, I, I want to thank you for the opportunity to sponsor. Uh, on behalf of the plastic producers from the American Chemistry Council, and our group, uh, we're pretty excited to be the sponsor of this event. Uh, Bob Murrow uh, showed me the pictures from last year, and not only the winners, but uh, what you got planned this year, and uh, it's, it's very exciting, and, and we're, we're glad to be able to do that. Uh, as plastic producers, uh, we know that our materials help save energy, and they help consumers, they bring food service materials, reduce spoilage, but we also know it's essential to recover these materials and to make sure that these littered materials don't find their way into neighborhoods, into the streets, and into the bay. So again, we're really pleased to partner with the city uh, in a community by community effort. Because while we're a national group, we know it's community by community. We've seen communities do this, and it's pretty exciting to motivate, whether it's through competition or not. Uh, so once again, uh, the mayor talked about the 72 communities last year. Uh, in the spirit of competition, we hope that this year's event will be even more successful. And I think what, what the mayor hit on is so important is that this is really a collaboration. It's, it's the communities working together with all of us, whether we're in industry and government. And we're proud again to be this year's sponsor and look forward to working with the mayor and, and Department of Public Works. Thank you. I'm going to give the, the uh, council president an opportunity to speak or the number one winning council council <laughs> district. You better say something. We're coming after you this year. You're not going to have all Do you want to speak and, and celebrate your last, your first and last? <laughs> Come on, Councilman Stokes. You can speak on behalf of the council. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Good, good morning, everybody. Y'all had to brag. Three of the four or $5,000 winners last year were in 12th district. And it, it, but I just want, this is a great idea, as, as the mayor has a number of great ideas when she salutes our dads, our moms, our neighborhoods. And so it is especially uh, a particular honor for me to, to have the mayor say, say a few words because this is a great thing all across the city. Uh, we have issues going on sometimes and with budget cutbacks, but I'll tell you something, I'll tell you this. Uh, cleaning up our neighborhoods is a Baltimore tradition. It's not something new. Unfortunately, some of our neighbors and neighborhoods have gotten away from that. And I'm so glad the mayor has uh, pronounced that we're going to encourage folk to do it. And so those who are out doing it every day uh, will continue to do that. And with their efforts of the other communities that are taking part in the program, hopefully very soon all of the city will look like it used to look. Um, across East, West, North, and South Baltimore. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Well, one last comment I want to make is that communities have until May the 15th to submit their applications. Uh, so I encourage everyone to go to baltimorecity.gov and download the application as soon as possible. And thanks, everyone, for attending, and let the competition begin. Yay! 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 Yay!